Research in the Social Sciences and Humanities, or SSH, deals with the social and human aspects of global challenges. These challenges range from climate change and the economy to an aging population. While science alone cannot solve society's problems, SSH research can bring about results that impact the cultural and economic well-being of Europe and the wider world. With the launch of the EU's new framework research program, Horizon 2020, the Flash IT project asked a number of researchers and policymakers from the European Commission to share their thoughts on how SSH research achieves impact. Here's what they had to say. We see three main areas where we can look at the impact. One is actually the impact on science. That, I would say, is the easy, easiest because you can very well see you know, the number of publications that you have got and the researchers are very good at doing that and we have got now new tools which are very good in measuring you know, the impact of science on science. So. Now the second area which is a bit more difficult is the area of policy making. What is the impact of social sciences and the humanities on policy making? We have got famous examples, like for instance, you know, the theory of Keynes, you know, after the Second World War, which impacted tremendously on the economic policies of, you know, the developed world for ages, for decades. So the scientific impact of SSH research uh, is not only dissemination uh, to the scientific community, uh, or even knowledge transference to uh, stakeholders or to practitioners. Impact is also um, uh, achieving, uh, providing evidence that this transference achieves uh, real uh, improvements, social improvements and real people. I think social science and humanities is always asking questions. It's always by nature skeptical. It's not willing to, to just accept the latest wisdom. So it's always curious and always asking for new perspectives and new ways of thinking. And for that reason, it can be difficult too, because it challenges things. Well, SSH research impact policies in a number of ways. And key in all these is the fact that ultimately, policies are about humans and human behavior and therefore policy making needs to factor in this human dimension. That's a fancy way of saying that actually for effective policy making you need a thorough understanding of the historical background, the cultural background, the social background. As age research can make policy makers aware of the need to take in the bigger picture and to look at the social dimension, the cultural dimension, the historical dimension. And here as age has a really important role to play. What we want is that these ideas go on the, on the public space and they're actually shared and discussed by citizens. But that means that therefore the researchers have to accept to use new means of communication, new means of valorization so they can actually talk in different ways to different people so that these people can learn about you know, what happens in terms of tolerance, in terms of religions, in terms of, for instance, you know, inter in terms of migration, for instance, where there's a lot of debate but it seems that the voice of the researchers is not heard enough. Flash IT is a European Union dissemination project offering enhanced access to research findings in the socio-economic sciences and humanities. As part of a broader effort to consolidate knowledge resources within the European research area, Flash IT aims to help bridge the communications gap between Europe's research and policy-making communities. Research in the social sciences and humanities. Achieving impact on the road to Horizon 2020.